While the world still clings to lithium as if it were the only possible path, Elon Musk has decided to pull the rug out from under the market, with a move few predicted. Tesla's definitive entry into the era of aluminum ion batteries. And this is no ordinary move. It's a strategic shift with the potential to rewrite the rules of the global game. And the curious thing is that it has nothing to do with China. For the first time, the biggest battery innovation in recent years doesn't bear the seal of Beijing, but the signature of a project that originated on American soil. The plan? To break the backbone of the Chinese battery empire with a technology that advances like a missile on its weak points. The move was so bold that it has already triggered drastic reactions behind the scenes. Confidential security reports indicate that, in the last three months, more than 47,000 cyber attacks have targeted Tesla's Nevada Gigafactory. And we're not talking about amateurs. These attacks came from groups directly linked to the Chinese state. The motivation is clear. China has realized that the stakes go far beyond technical performance. What Tesla is developing poses a direct threat to a $340 billion market dominated by Chinese manufacturers who have invested heavily in lithium. Suddenly, all of that hangs in the balance. The key to this threat has a name and a surname. Quantum tunneling architecture, a concept that sounds like something out of a science fiction film, but is already operating in Tesla's laboratories. This technology allows aluminum ions to pass through the battery's crystalline structure at a speed 23 times faster than the lithium ions found in Chinese models. In practical terms, this means incredibly fast discharge times and a much higher energy delivery capacity, putting traditional batteries at a humiliating disadvantage. The difference isn't gradual, it's a leap, but what's really keeping Chinese executives awake at night isn't just speed. It's the element of surprise hidden at the heart of each aluminum cell self-healing graphene channels. Yes, Tesla batteries now regenerate during charge cycles, a mechanism that prevents progressive wear and tear and, ironically, transforms each recharge into a process of battery rejuvenation. The cumulative effect is so impressive that after 100,000 charge cycles, the system still performs 13% better than before. This isn't an evolution. It's a departure from everything the industry has known until now. This detail alone would be enough to challenge the Asian giant's business model. After all, many of them rely on so-called planned obsolescence, selling batteries that degrade over time and need to be replaced within a few years. With Tesla's new solution, this cycle of dependence is completely broken. Consumers will demand greater durability and efficiency, and the industry, forced to reinvent itself, will lose its greatest asset, control over battery lifespan. This isn't just a technological attack. It's a frontal assault on the current economic model. Furthermore, the choice of aluminum as a raw material weakens one of the biggest pillars of Chinese dominance, its monopoly on lithium supply. For years, China built an extraction, refining, and export network that guaranteed near total control over the mineral. Now, with aluminum gaining prominence, this advantage is beginning to evaporate. The U.S. already has a robust infrastructure for aluminum extraction and processing, which makes Tesla's plan even more dangerous for Chinese interests. Musk isn't just innovating. He's operating on the back of already established infrastructure. This existing infrastructure allows for a leap in scale that China simply can't replicate in the short term. With refineries already operating in states like Texas, Tennessee, and Kentucky, aluminum production can grow rapidly without the bottlenecks typical of lithium. This accelerates Tesla's timeline and puts the company light years ahead in the race for the next generation of batteries. Beijing, accustomed to dictating the rules of the game, now finds itself forced to play catch-up to an opponent that has already started the game ahead and has a plan that targets its rival's Achilles heel. In this tense and unstable scenario, questions arise that leave even the most skeptical uneasy. 
Has Chinese dominance finally reached its breaking point? Are we witnessing the birth of a new global energy order where lithium is no longer the dominant force and is replaced by a faster, more durable and cheaper solution? What once seemed impossible, challenging China's battery empire, now seems only a matter of time. And that time, it seems, is on Tesla's side. The most striking factor behind the scenes of this shift isn't just the technology itself, but the direct economic impact it could generate. Tesla's new aluminum ion battery enters the game costing just $61 per kilowatt, 30% less than lithium ion batteries manufactured in China. This difference alone is enough to raise alarm bells in Beijing, as it undermines the main competitive advantage the country has built over the last two decades cost. Chinese industry has always relied on cheap labor, state subsidies, and mass production to maintain unbeatable prices. Now, this model faces a threat that cannot be avoided with simple spending cuts. The reason for this reduced cost is simple and strategic. Aluminum is much more abundant and cheaper to process than lithium. Its extraction consumes 65% less energy and the production chain already exists and is consolidated in the United States. While lithium requires a slow, expensive, and environmentally sensitive mining and refining process, aluminum is already processed on a large scale for other industrial sectors. This means that, instead of building a supply chain from scratch, Tesla simply adapts something that is already working. This maneuver eliminates years of waiting and billions in upfront investment. Another point that weakens China's position is the speed at which its factories adapt. Tesla's lithium battery production lines can be converted to produce aluminum batteries in just eight months. By comparison, building new lithium processing facilities can take up to three years. This difference in response time is a surgical stroke. While China struggles to react, Tesla will already be mass-producing. The forecast is to reach two. 1 TW of annual capacity by the third quarter of 2026, enough energy to power more than 6 million vehicles per year, all manufactured in the United States. The geopolitical impact of this shift is brutal. In 2024 alone, China earned use $43.2 billion from battery exports, making this its third largest export sector. With Tesla delivering a 30% cheaper product with superior performance, Chinese manufacturers will face a fatal dilemma. Reduce prices to the point of eliminating their profit margins or lose considerable market share. Either option seriously jeopardizes the financial health of companies and, consequently, affects the Chinese economy as a whole. And the attack doesn't stop there. Tesla has signed supply agreements with major players in the aluminum industry, such as Alcoa Corporation, Norsk Hydro, and Century Aluminum Company. These contracts guarantee exclusive supply and fixed prices until 2032. In other words, Musk has sealed his access to raw materials, creating a scenario in which competitors will have to deal with market volatility and geopolitical uncertainty. This predictability in production costs is an advantage that few in the industry will be able to replicate. As this plan advances, China sees its dominance over the global battery supply chain begin to crumble. And this isn't just a trade dispute. It's a clash that touches on the energy sovereignty and industrial independence of the countries involved. The transition to aluminum isn't just a victory for Tesla. It's a shift in the balance of power, which could redefine which nations will dictate the rules of electric mobility in the coming decades. Beijing which previously controlled the game, now finds itself forced to play defensively. This shift is even more dramatic because Tesla doesn't need to rely on vulnerable trade routes or fragile agreements to maintain its production. The proximity of aluminum sources, combined with domestic production capacity, reduces the risk of disruptions caused by international crises or sanctions. This detail may seem technical, but in the global power struggle, it's crucial. Supply security is as powerful a weapon as any technological innovation. The true test for any battery comes when extreme weather strikes. 
And here, Tesla's aluminum ion batteries don't just outperform their competitors, they completely change the game. At temperatures below 10 dwellers, Chinese lithium ion batteries lose up to 40% of their capacity, turning an electric vehicle into a failed promise at the very moment it's needed most. The problem isn't new. Asian manufacturers have invested billions in thermal management systems to minimize this loss, but the results have always been limited. Tesla's solution, however, isn't a patch. It's a complete reinvention of battery chemistry. Unlike conventional batteries, which sluggish in the cold, Tesla's new aluminum cells maintain 96% capacity even at 30 degrees C. And in internal tests conducted at 40 degrees C, performance dropped by less than 2%. These numbers aren't commercial promises. They're data verified in extreme environments. The difference is so absurd the Chinese batteries tested under the same conditions simply stopped working. In terms of reliability, this represents a gulf between the two products. On the one hand, technology that withstands inhospitable climates. On the other, a system that fails precisely when it matters most. The practical impact of this on everyday life is enormous. A Tesla Model 2 equipped with the new battery delivers 387 miles of range even at 20 t to trackers. By comparison, Chinese models barely reach 180 miles in the same conditions. And this changes everything. Consumers in regions like Canada, Russia, Scandinavia, and the northern United States have always viewed electric cars with skepticism because of their cold weather performance. Now, that technical barrier has simply disappeared. It's not just about extending range. It's about making EVs truly viable in places where they were previously considered luxury toys. Charging time in cold weather is also a game changer. While lithium batteries require preheating, consuming precious energy and time, aluminum cells maintain their full charging capacity even in extreme sub-zero temperatures. In other words, four-minute fast charging continues to work at 35 degrees C without any loss of performance. This isn't just a technical advantage, it's a redefinition of what it means to drive an electric car in winter. For those living in harsh climates, the difference between charging in four minutes or waiting 90 minutes can be the difference between adopting an EV and sticking with combustion vehicles. And the data isn't restricted to Tesla's labs. Norwegian owners, who quietly participated in testing the new technology, reported satisfaction levels above 94%. For comparison, the same drivers gave only 31% approval to vehicles with Chinese lithium batteries. Tesla isn't just delivering a more effective solution. It's actually earning the trust of consumers in one of the world's most demanding markets. Acceptance in the cold field is perhaps the most difficult of all. And Tesla has managed to reverse that narrative. Technological advancements also open doors for public contracts and fleets in cold regions. Governments that were previously hesitant to electrify their vehicles for fear of thermal inefficiency now have a viable alternative. This shift in perception has the potential to alter transportation policies on a national scale, even impacting energy demand and charging infrastructure in these regions. While electric mobility was previously seen as a solution limited to temperate climates, it is now entering territory previously dominated by diesel engines. The turning point, however, lies in trust. Consumers don't just buy technical specifications, they buy predictability. Knowing that a car will perform the same way in July as it did in January, without unpleasant surprises, is what transforms a technological advancement into a change in behavior. Tesla understood this precisely. It's not enough to deliver performance on paper. You need to prove, with real data, that the user experience will be superior under any conditions. And that's exactly what it did with aluminum batteries. Developing a revolutionary technology is only half the equation. The other half is proving it works in the real world. And that's exactly what Tesla did with its aluminum ion battery. Instead of limiting itself to bench tests or laboratory simulations, 
The company fielded nearly 3,000 vehicles across 47 U.S. states. These cars, equipped with prototypes of the new batteries, accumulated over 18 million miles under real-world conditions. This wasn't a theatrical demonstration. It was a relentless test, designed to expose flaws, limits, and weaknesses. And the results surprised even the most skeptical engineers. The data obtained was not kept under lock and key. It was analyzed by independent institutions and published in peer-reviewed scientific journals, which rules out any possibility of manipulation or advertising hype. And what this data revealed is noteworthy. After 800,000 kilometers of simulated use, Tesla's aluminum batteries still retained 94.7% of their original capacity. In contrast, Chinese lithium batteries, tested under the same conditions, dropped to 73%. This figure is not just a statistic. It represents, in practice, twice the useful life, a leap that completely redefines the concept of durability in electric vehicles. And it wasn't just durability that drew attention. Safety also delivered impressive results. In more than 10,000 destructive tests, which included drilling, overcharging, and exposure to extreme temperatures, Tesla's aluminum batteries recorded no instances of thermal runaway, the dangerous overheating that can cause fires. Meanwhile, Chinese lithium batteries failed in 3.7% of tests, which is still considered high by vehicle safety standards. This difference transforms public perception and directly influences the behavior of insurers and industry regulators. Proof of this is that insurance companies have already begun to react some are offering discounts of up to 23% on policies for vehicles equipped with aluminum batteries. This type of move is rare in the industry and only occurs when there is absolute confidence that the risk has been minimized. This changes not only the cost of ownership for the end consumer, but also the way the technology is perceived by investors, government agencies, and corporate fleets. A safer car, with a lower risk of fire and reduced maintenance requirements, is automatically more attractive and, in many cases, financially more advantageous. And if there were any doubts about the seriousness of the new technology, they were put to rest when the U.S. Department of Defense entered the fray. After a series of comparative tests with suppliers from China, South Korea, and Europe, the Pentagon chose Tesla's aluminum technology for its next-generation military vehicles. And this decision isn't based on marketing hype. It's a technical assessment made by experts who deal with requirements far beyond civilian use. When national security invests in a particular solution, the message is clear. It works and works well. This military approval opens the door to new contracts, but also validates the technology's robustness. Combat vehicles operate in extreme environments with high energy demands and zero margin for failure. If Tesla's batteries pass this test, they will certainly meet any consumer demand. More than that, they demonstrate that the company is building a foundation to expand its influence beyond the automotive sector. This technology could soon be used in drones, defense systems, telecommunications, and even aerospace.